Hey everyone, welcome back to JP's Budget Collecting and our weekly look back at the hot comics from six months ago. This week we're looking back at the hot comics from February 23rd, 2024, and I'm recording this on August 23rd, 2024. As always, I give you those dates so you know when this information is most relevant because the market is always moving and changing uh, as we, as you will see when we go through this list. Also, as always, we're looking back at the CBSI Hot Top 10 and the Comic Tom Key Collector Hottest Trending Comics of the Week. So we're back now for our second week since we've kind of relaunched this after a little bit of a little bit of time off. Uh, so let's dig into the 18 books we have to talk about this week and see if we can learn anything. Uh, first up, we had two books, three books that were kind of related to option news or TV shows or movies that weren't related to DC and Marvel. Uh, the first of those was The Hedge Knight, number one. Uh, this is the next Game of Thrones spinoff, and we got news that that was official back in the spring. Uh, raw copies were going for 25 bucks. Now it's a 15 to $25 dollar despite dollar book. Despite the fact that we just got a trailer at the end of House of Dragons Season 2, so we know the show is for sure coming next year, uh, and it's still a down, and I'll be back from that initial confirmation back in the spring. Uh, next, we have Borderlands Origins. Uh, we got a trailer for that movie. That movie has since come out. I think it did uh, okay, not great. Um, Rock copies were 18 back then, 9.8 going for 130. Uh, now it's a 15 to 20 dollar book, so Rock copies are still right in the same range, but 9.8. Uh, $45 for the most recent 9.8. That's a dumpster fire. And yeah, this book is uh, overall backed up quite a bit on the, at least on the slab side. Uh, rock copies are still kind of in the same range, but still definitely down on this particular book. Uh, next, we have World Tree, uh, number one. Uh, and this hit the list not because of anything related to it directly. Uh, hit the list because James Tinian announced he was starting his own production company. Uh, didn't really move the value on this book very much, but it did move a lot of sales on some of his other... So everybody knows about, like, Something is Killing the Children and some of his other stuff, but moving some sales on some other of his books, thinking they might be part of this production company at some point. So, raw copies were still only $4 back then. 9.8 is going for 80 which was a slight bump. Um, now, raw copies are still 4 to 5 bucks. Uh, 9.8 is 30 to 50 so they've taken a significant step back from that $80, but... They're basically like the bare minimum most people pay for any kind of slab. So, all right, next, we're going to move into our covers and a little bit of, uh, some of which have a little bit of buzz with them as well. But we had uh, four covers this week that made the, made the list. Uh, first up, we had Wolverine number 36. Uh, this was both a cover and a comic buzz. This is the first appearance of Helverine. Um, this book was going for 40 to 65 back then, 9.8, 175, 200. And since then, we've gotten a series with this character. They've kind of thrown some weight behind it. I still, anytime anybody asks me about what I think is going to ultimately happen with this book, I just bring up Weapon H. But anyway, uh, now it's a 50 to $100 book, 9.8, 150 to 200. So we put this as steady and worth it. Even though raw copies are up in value, the 9.8s are sitting right where they were at back then so yeah we're gonna just say steady and worth it here definitely if you bought in at this at this point six months ago you're still doing okay even though the series is coming on we will see another year from now where this book is at it'll be interesting to see uh next we have uh for the second week in a row spider gwen smash number three the ricky Yaga yagawa uh one in 25 uh by the last week it, when we talked about it, it was at a 40 to 80 dollar book by this point it was an 80 to 100 dollar book for this 125 which is typically like it gets that old rule i had to, gets over triple ratio is a good sign and now it's a 25 35 dollar book never never bet on that second week bump uh it is definitely a dumpster fire this book is back way way up probably at least partially because of the fact that the dazzler thing didn't happen with taylor swift in the deadpool movie uh next we have captain marvel number five the Russell Dodderman one in 25. This one went through the roof uh, right off the bat, which made me sad because I wanted a copy of it. <laughs> um, it was a $125 to $165 book right out the gate. And now it's 100 to 220 for raw copies. So a huge range on raw copies here in terms of sales. Um, most of them are still kind of in that 125, 165 range it was before, but yeah, all, from 100 all the way over 200. 9.8s are only 175 to 250, so that $220 raw sale 
a little odd, but yeah. But there was another one, I think, right at 200. So, yeah, there was multiple sales in the same range as the 9.8. Either way, we're going to say steady and worth it for this book uh, from what it was. This is one of those 1 in 25s that went to 5, 6 times ratio. And that's usually a pretty good sign. <laughs> and it has stayed right in that range. Um, dang it. <laughs> that's the one I would have liked to have. Uh, next, we have Edge of Spider-Verse number one. Uh, the secret variant, one per store variant. Uh, this was going for 40 to 60. One per stores or usually act like a 125. That don't, so if it only got to about double ratio, it's going to end up between ratio and double. 30 to 45 dollar now book now. Uh, definitely, and I'll be back. Uh, with that, we're going to move completely into some buzz, comic book buzz type books. We got four comic book buzz type books that didn't have anything really to do with their covers. Uh, first up was Ultimate Spider-Man number two. Uh, that whole Ultimate Universe was super hot back in the spring when it started coming out. Ultimate Spider-Man was the hottest of those, I think. And yeah, people were into this book, digging this new universe. Uh, still are, for the most part. Uh, this book now, back then it was 5 to 15, now it's 10 to 20. Uh, 9.8, though, is only like 30 to 55. So 9.8s are basically going for the bare minimum, like the price to get it slab plus just maybe a shipping. Uh, so, but we're still gonna call it steady and worth it based on all those raw sales that are definitely still at that range or slightly higher than it was six months ago. Uh, so Ultimate Spider-Man, still in the forefront of everybody's thoughts. Uh, next, we have Ultimate Invasion, number four, the first full appearance of Tony Stark Kang. Um, yeah, so this had to do a little bit with the Ultimate Universe that was coming and all this kind of stuff. Um, which caused us to be a 25 to 30 dollar book back then now it's a 15 to 40 so it's kind of widened out in terms of sales so we're still going to call it a steady worth it uh, you can get a bargain now and then but uh overall yeah you're okay if you bought in back then uh next we got spawn number 122 uh the first appearance of nix uh she later becomes she spawn um basically yeah the rumors is there was stuff going on in Spawn comics. I don't know a lot about Spawn, those kind of comics. I think she was becoming a more prominent character. Uh, back then, raw copies were going for 45. 9.8 hit 145. No recent 9.8 sales I could find. 20 to 45, so a down and I'll be back on this one. Uh, and then our last true buzz book of the week was DC versus Marvel Comics, number one from 1996. And this hit the list because we were getting an Omni, and I think the Omni is actually out now. Uh, so you can go buy it, I believe. Uh, so all of those stories from the 90s where they did the crossover DC versus Marvel stuff. And I think then the Amalgam stuff that came out of that are all in this omnibus, I believe. I didn't really double check it. Um, but anyway, the interest that that was bringing that you were going to get this reprinted for the first time since the 90s uh, was making people buy the book. $12 for a raw copy. 9.8s were going for over 100 uh, at around 128 uh, for a high sale. Now raw copies. 2 to 15, 9.8, 50 to 120, so down and it'll all be back, because you can definitely get some deals, but uh, not a huge step back for this one. Still kind of a fun book, and something I don't know that we'll ever really see again, as these two companies actually cross over their characters. Uh, all right, with that, we're moving into the MCU. <laughs> um, all this was MCU stuff. Well, we got a couple things, I guess, at the end that aren't truly MCU, but uh, most of this was MCU stuff. First up, we got Ghost Rider, number 28, first appearance of Midnight Suns. Um, and this was hitting the list for like the 37th time because people think we're going to get a Midnight Suns movie at some point. Uh, this time it was because Oscar Isaac said the name uh, in some interview that he would have liked to have done a Midnight Suns movie or project as Moon Knight. Um... Now, I don't even think we're ever going to get him as Moon Knight again. But anyway, uh, caused it to hit the list for, again, but it was only a $5 to $15 book, way down from some of his previous, previous times on the list. Uh, 9.8s were going for 80 to 140 uh, Now it's still a $5 to $15 book. 9.8s, 50 to 120 so a slight step back there. Overall, we'll just call it steady, and then I'll be back. Um, and this is kind of the bottom where this book sets uh, in general. It's had some much higher sales over the years but this is kind of just where this book is at this point uh next we have marvel team up number 65 the first american appearance of captain britain and we were getting henry cavill rumors i think henry cavill literally gets rumored for every part that's ever come up in any sort of universe or nerd you know comic book 
video game, nerd movie, like everybody just throws Henry Cavill in it. <laughs> um, so he's very popular apparently. But yeah, that was the rumor back then. Rock copies were going for 85, 9.8 went for 382. No recent 9.8 sales to compare to, uh, but Rock copies now 15 to 40. Uh, so that's down in a trap. I don't know that it's, you know, um, still a solid book uh, if you like the Captain Britain character. And uh, yeah, $15, $40 for raw copies. My guess is there hasn't really been a really high grade one go recently on the raw side, which is why it's as cheap as it is. But that's pretty cheap if you wanted to get into this particular book. Uh, next, we have Wolverine number 88. Uh, the first Deadpool versus Wolverine. And this was all anticipation of... Uh, we'd gotten the trailer, an early trailer for this movie. Uh, the movie's obviously come and gone since then. Well, it's, it's out now, currently, where you can still see it. But raw copies were 75 to 100. A 9.6 newsstand went for 325. Uh, now raw copies are 10 to 100. 9.8 non newsstand going for around 300. It wasn't a recent newsstand to compare to that 9.6 back then, but. Uh, I think a 9.8 newsstand went for like seven something recently. So probably pretty close. A little bit of a step back on the raw side. So we'll still stay down and I'll be back. It's already starting to creep down as we move away from the Deadpool Wolverine movie. These books are starting to slowly take a step back. But still a great book, a popular book, and a popular cover. Uh, next, we have a couple of Fantastic Four related books. We got Fantastic Four 209. First appearance of Herbie because we got the announcement for the Fantastic Four cast and in the image they released, Herbie was seen uh, in that image. So that's why this book hit the list. Uh, Rock copies were going for twenty to one hundred dollars. Nine point eight went for six hundred. The most recent nine point eight went for two twenty seven. Uh, five to thirty for raw copies. Yeah, that's a dumpster fire already. Um, and I think Herbie's supposed to be in the movie, but already people were like. People went nuts over that. Remember what I tell you about the initial announcement and the trailer? Yeah, those are the highest peaks. And the highest peak for Herbie was probably that initial announcement. Uh, so it appears I forgot to talk about Fantastic Four Life Story. So we're going to voice over this real quick. Uh, this was really because the, te the theme of the image appeared to match like a 60s set book. So that's why people are thinking this might be the storyline. Raw copies back then were going for five bucks. A 9.8 was going for 50. Now raw copies are five to 15. And a 9.8 is setting around 40 to 70. So we'll call this a steady and then I'll be back. It'll be interesting to see if this matches the storyline at all. Uh, next, we have two books that were related to the X-Men 97 cartoon show. We've gotten some... Uh, trailers or images from that. Uh, yeah, the trailer was out. And first up, we have Avengers Annual number 10, the first appearance of Rogue. And this was hitting the list because, A, Rogue was prominent in the trailer, but she was also prominent because people were mad that she didn't look like that one singular image from the old school show with her and Apocalypse, uh, that she did not appear to have the assets <laughs> she had in the old cartoon but anyway, raw copies were going for 150. 9.8 was going for 580. Now it's a 40 to 100 dollars on recent raw copies. 9.8, 5 to 600. Let's say it. I'll be back. But I probably should put steady and I'll be back. I, I put down, but I probably should have put steady and I'll be back. Now that I think about it. But anyway, yeah, great book, great character, and pretty affordable, really. Um, so uh, next we have X Men Adventures number one, um, the first comic related to that the original cartoon show um this was hitting the list raw copies were going for 25 bucks 9.8 for 175 to 200 uh, people were really anticipating the show the show was fantastic everybody loved it and now just three or four months after the show came out well two months the show was coming out in may and june and now it's a five to twenty dollar book 9.8 under 100 at 85 on the last two sales and the only two sales in august um yeah, it's a, already turned into a trap. That's just the way this works, uh, which is why you should always be patient until after these projects come and go. So that's this week's list. Um, I want to thank you guys for watching, and we will catch you next time. Later.